Welcome everyone to another episode of Patching for Noise. In this video, I thought I'd share with you some of my patch examples on the Percusa SSP. And I thought I would do a three-part series. Uh, first week, just consisting of a basic patch that I created. We can do that together here. Uh, the second week, maybe a semi-complex patch. Uh, and the third week, maybe a complex patch consisting of uh, multiple things. So this week, we're just going to create a basic patch. I'm just going to share with you all the things that I've learned so far. And um, I kind of took it slow, you know, just creating basic things because a Pacusa can get quite complicated. So uh, I hope you enjoy this first series with me and um, we'll go ahead and create a basic patch together. And we hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, one of the first things that we're going to do is focus on feeding signal from the OCOS into the SSP because I my desire is to use this as a signal processor, a utilities module, or an effects uh, processor. So let's tell the SSP to receive signal from the OCOS. And the, what we would do first is click on the first box and give it an input. There's eight little boxes within each section. And then you got number two, another eight, number three, another eight goes all the way to 16. And that would be a really nice complex patch. Uh, but we're just going to focus on the first few boxes. Basically, it's giving you opportunities to load eight different applications within each section. By the third week, I would have hoped to have a nice complex patch created where I'm utilizing samplers, sequencers, inputs, gates, and all sorts of things that we can come up with. But in this first video series, we're just going to focus on creating a basic patch which is feeding signal from another source, external source, into here and see if we can modulate it somehow. Okay, so that's the input. Now let's go to the next box and we'll create something where like an effects. Let's choose like clouds. That's a nice uh, application. And then we'll go to another box and we'll create an output. So now I go to the input, highlight that, and then I connect that to clouds and I'll just use the left channel because I'm only going to be focusing on mono and then I'll go to clouds and then I'll choose the left channel then I'll connect clouds to my output and I'll also choose a, a left channel then I'll go to the output and I'll click on that so there's a little bit of a process but see that's it you're done I have an input I have a, a effects and then I have an output so now if I connect my output number one, which is right here in the bottom, I believe these are all the 16 ins and these are the eight outs. If I, if I connect that to my mixer, I should get sound from the Ocos. Okay, so now let's take an LFO and go to that box. We'll choose LFO. And now we're going to feed that into the output. And we're going to choose output number two. Why? Because we want output number two to go to any signal source in the OCOS. Doesn't matter. I'm just feeding it through the Alinear FM. And then um, once we do that, we have to go back to the output and we got to choose, we got to tell the SSP to output on number two. See, now it's going out. So now if I turn it up, And go back to my LFO and start modulating things. You should hear. We should hear the LFO.
See, now I have a signal processor now. We can grab another effects processor. Or let's see what let's see what we have from the list here. We'll choose one together. What shall we choose? Let's choose a sequencer. Let's sequence the um, O-Coast. And that way we can get some um, rhythm going. So let's go ahead and put the camera down. I'm going to do this separately and I'll come back and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so what I did was I, um, I took the sequence, right? And I connected it to output number three, which is here. And I took the output from output number three and I connected it to the patch here and to the one volt per octave. And then on my output, I have output number three. So I got my sequencer directly connected to the output, which is number three. And then simply number, just choose number three and there you go. Now I'm actually having an LFO going. I got it in audio rate. I got a sequencer going from the SSP, LFO going into my ornament and crime back into the SSP, and at the same time, I have my clouds application. If I want to utilize that, I have the mixer down right now, so I'm turning it up. this clouds application it's really cool and I think it would be appropriate to choose maybe a reverb just to get some uh, nice reverb now I heard the reverb was really good on this particular unit. Um, there's only one reverb as far as I can see. Uh, I just got to find it here. Where is it? Reverb. Okay, it's on the bottom there. Okay, so we'll choose reverb and I'll put the camera down. I'll come back and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so what I did was I inputted a, a reverb module. As you can see before you right here, I chose output number one since that is the main output going into my mixer. And basically, I connected that to the output. I went to the output, and I chose, well, one was already chosen, remember, because the Ocos is our sound source. So I just fed the reverb into there, which is already there anyways. And I think that was really it. I choose uh, also left, which is pretty much output number one. And here's the results of the reverb. Now, this is a really nice reverb. I really like it. Very deep. Now let's go back to clouds and see if we can modulate that. Notice one thing about the Bakusa SSP. Do slow movements when you adjust these parameters. You don't have to tweak it like you do it, like the Ocos. You know, the Ocos, you go from one extreme to the other. But with this SSP, it's very subtle movements. This is a stretch mode. back down let's go back to the reverb turn that down I forgot I had my LFO going through the uh, Ocos in audio rate okay well that's all the time we have uh, for today this is our first section so what we did this afternoon was we created an input 
we created an effects processor. Then we created an output. Then we took an LFO going out. Then we created a sequencer to sequence the OCOs. And then finally we added a reverb. Now we got two left, but this is what I call a basic patch for me. You know, just utilities, um, effects, and using external um, sources like the OCOS or whatever um, oscillator or VCO you may decide to use. So I hope you enjoyed this first series of um, this video. Um, it's going to be a three part. Next week we'll do section number two. So let's go ahead and save this. Go back to the main menu and hit number hit right, which is the third button here. See here it says wrote preset number two. Now that's saved. So by next week, if I turn this off and turn it back on and load this, it should be exactly where we started off. Then we'll go to section number two, which is right here. And we'll focus on those eight. Well, I might not do eight. We may just do three or four, but we'll do section number two on our second week. And we'll see if we can continue with this video. And I'll see you guys next week on another episode of Patching for Noise, part two.